Hi, and welcome to the Legacy Lost Music and Paradise Show. Whoops. Today's feature will be um, a quick overview of a very popular and expensive uh, CB radio antenna, or you can use it for 10 meter as well, is a K30 magnet mount uh, antenna. And um, let me see how can I, let me see where I'd start with this. Um, it's got a pretty solid base to it. The magnet is very strong. It's, I've driven this on uh, I-95, uh, going uh, 70 miles an hour is our speed limit and no problems, uh, several miles. So we passed the uh, I-95 test. Uh, Drove it on US-1, speed limits there, up to 65 there, no problems. And, uh, anyway, um, it's got like a, uh, protective cover here, so you don't scratch anything with the magnet. I think this is about, what, uh, three and a half, four inches. And, uh, I've also owned a Keith, uh, Wilson one, a uh, little wheel at a certain point, too. And, um... I'll go over that another time. But anyway, this is made by K40, but this is their mini antenna. And it's about uh, three feet tall. And um, as it comes from the factory, there's no Corona ball or anything. It just uh, comes in like a pre-packaged. There's no Corona ball. It says it's tapered, uh, some kind of tapered uh, thing, so it's not supposed to. But I see, this seems to me, it's all one diameter it doesn't get thinner at the top or the bottom um, most people say you got to take off about a uh, a third about a third of an inch to half an inch or so maybe to get it down the SWR is higher on the higher channels than the lower so that shows me that it's a little too long so it will need to be cut uh, I would do maybe in quarter quarter inch increments since it's small and uh, this stuff's pretty tough. You're going to have to get some kind of hacksaw or some kind of cutter or Dremel tool and uh, a wheel or something and uh, cut that down a little bit. Uh, comes with, uh, I wish the uh, cable was just a little bit longer. I think it's uh, 15 foot. Probably if it was 3 foot it would be a little bit better. Because if you put it on a trunk and you try to route it through the seat, you don't get much flexibility to go all the way around the door jam underneath do it properly so I, I would like to seen it just a few feet longer I think it's around 15 foot or so and uh, when I got this this was missing the uh, ferrule this little ferrule, ferrule piece here sometimes people will complain that these are stripped out from the factory the um the, what do you call it the uh, actual thread nut here is uh, stripped but uh, that wasn't the case but when I when I uh, traded for this antenna, I actually traded a microphone for this. Um, this little piece wasn't even in the package. And it was kind of a cold, rainy day, and we didn't really pay attention. So I ordered one, but the gentleman I got it from was nice enough to uh, send me another one free. So I actually have two extra ones I got a spare, and then another one, I think, for a K40 full size. Um, and uh, I'm going to demonstrate later. I can actually use this for shortwave radio too. I put this on the car and I did a scan and it works pretty well for shortwave at least up to about uh, uh, about 7 megahertz or so and after that it's just a little bit too uh, short you know because of the uh, such a difference in the wavelengths there and everything but it, overall it actually works really good and it's much better than the stock antenna and uh, it just uses a uh, standard uh, PL259 connector I'll show you here and uh, you can use the uh, adapter for the quarter quarter inch uh, I mean uh, yeah well, one eighth inch uh, three and a half millimeter um, adapter for the shortwave antenna and uh, it works very well in the next video I'll demonstrate the uh, scan of the uh, antenna on shortwave on the Texan PL310ET. Alright, 73. Peace.